everybody, welcome back to Making Homesteading. It's Shalithia again, and a lot of you had some questions about broccoli. So if you've ever wondered how you let broccoli bolt, or once it goes to bolting, what you do with the whole plant, um, we're going to talk about that today. So let's get into it, okay? Here, I've already started, so I just pulled these straight up out of the bed root and all. I've already cut the roots on all of these. So pull them up out of the bed. This is not the season for broccoli so we'll replant broccoli in the fall season. And uh, so this you might think well what a waste. No this is going to go to compost and it's going to become useful again. We try to waste as little as possible around here. So let me see if I can get a smaller one. All right. So once it goes to bolting, you're going to keep the crown on. So the little crowns, you're going to keep them on and they're going to go to flower. These flowers are obviously about to turn into like the broccoli bean. And a lot of you said that they look like green beans and you're totally correct. They do look like green beans. But inside each one of these pods... Um, is seed, multiple seed. So as you can see, we're going to have lots and lots of seed today. So you're looking at this and you're like, wow, this seems like a big waste of, you know, broccoli crowns. Well, it it is and it isn't. So what you end up doing is you cut off these little guys, all right? And all these little beans have multiple, multiple seeds. So what I do is I cut this off and I let it dry, just like that. So then you start getting all the beans and just let them dry. So we have a metal shed that's out back. I'm sure you guys have seen it in some of the videos. That's what I put it in for them to dry. And sometimes, as long as it's not a real windy day, I will put them outside and let them dry in the wind or I mean in the sun if it's not windy <laughs> anyways so that's how you get the beans off right but then you're looking at this and there are still some leaves on some of these as you can see some of these leaves have been bitten by insects pretty good so you can just take those off but if you find the better looking leaves like I don't know maybe this one it doesn't look too bad this one doesn't look too bad. You can actually eat these leaves, okay? And you can actually eat the stems here. You know, whenever you get your, your broccoli heads at the store, whatever, they have the stems. And you can actually cut the stems up and you can actually eat the stems. So what I'll probably do is I will get a, another basket or container and I will cut off these leaves that are looking pretty good. And we'll just set those aside and they will be put into like stir fries or whatever and what we'll do is we'll go down the stem and we'll just cut little pieces of this off and it literally tastes like broccoli alright it's much better whenever you cook it because it tenders it up but you can literally eat everything the stem the leaves everything um, and if you don't like it for whatever reason, if you don't, if you're not a big fan of the stems, then you can always compost the stems and the leaves as well. And then you're not wasting anything and it'll help make your dirt for planting. All right. So I hope this has helped. If it has helped, if you'll pass this video along, I'd much appreciate it. If it's also helped, subscriptions would be great. Follow me. I usually upload a video once a week. And until next time, enjoy your broccoli. Bye.